welcome to Teachers Off Duty. If you've never joined us before, my name is Rebecca Rogers. I'm R. Rogers World on all social media platforms. And since I always get in trouble for not saying my first name <laughs> as well as my social media name, I'm Brie Richardson, Honest Teacher Vibes on all social media platforms. And for the next few episodes, we have a really special guest. We have Lachey Greenwood. Hello, my name is Lachey Greenwood at Lachey Greenwood on all social medias. We know there's only three of us today. Lauren's flight got canceled. We're we sad about so it. Sad We're very about sad it. about it. So for the next three episodes, she's going to be a little MIA. The flights just, they always flights hate us. Crazy. Crazy right now. <laughs> like, I'm like, dang, they're canceling. Like, they canceled yes. me and my sister's flight to Disney. Like, really? We had to book, like, a flight at the last, like, the same day. My Uber driver last night told me straight up, he's like, I'm surprised you were even able to get in. Apparently, they canceled 300 flights to Florida yesterday. There was a lot of people at the airport yesterday. That yeah. is flights. My mom, I talked to my mom yesterday, and she was like, they canceled, like, 800 flights. That's crazy. We're speaking of crazy. We are going <laughs> <laughs> For a second, I was calling her. I was like, what? Oh, oh. You're right. I'm, I'm not even here. Because it is the beginning of school, we know there's a lot of teachers who are going to start teaching for the first time. We know you guys are nervous. So we're going to share some crazy first-year teacher stories to make you feel a little bit better. Even we know you're first nervous, school but we're going to share crazy go. stories to scare you even more. <laughs> See, I've seen more as like, it's got to make them feel better because no way their first day could be as bad as some of these Sometimes stories. Sometimes the first day is like super crazy. Like it'll be, your first day will yes. be a little chaotic, but you just go home after and you bust open a bottle of Tito's and yes. you live your life. I feel like I'm always more nervous than the kids on the first day. Yeah. Yes. Because what grade did you teach? All grades. Um, 10th through 12th, my very first year. You didn't teach middle school at all? Yeah, I did. Like, um, okay. last year I taught middle school. Okay, like, okay, okay, okay. Because I was like, my sixth graders, like the first day for sixth graders, because it's like their first time in middle school, they are like the frozen chosen for like the first week <laughs> of school. Like, if I crack a joke, they don't even laugh. I'm like, hey. Y'all can breathe, man. Like, you can say I'm not words. I'm eat you. Yeah, but then after, like, a week, then they start being disrespectful, and I'm like, go back you to can being. go back to how you was at <laughs> right. when you first got here. This is so lame, but, the like, the day before the first day of school, I always worry, like, what if my kids think I'm weird? And then my husband's like, you are weird, Rebecca. <laughs> <laughs> You know what you tell you tell Avery. I said so. We mention Becca's husband all the time, but we don't. Becca never prefaces like that. Avery is her husband. So people, some people that watch the podcast are like, "Who is Avery?" Who is Avery? Who is this man? So we always like preface. So this episode again will be do will be doing crazy first year teacher stories, but they're not like some of the ones that I have are like crazy things that like teachers have sent to me that's happened to them their first year. And then y'all know some of them are funny. Some of them are not funny. Yes. Um, but the one, the craziest first year teacher story that I have is my first year teaching when I came in, that was like super redundant, like crazy first year teacher, my first year teaching, <laughs> like my friend, it was redundant. But I came in my first year teaching as a long term sub and the teacher that I replaced, the day she quit, the kids threw a stapler and hit her in the face with it. Like, that oh was my why gosh. she quit. So that was, like, my classroom that I was coming into. Great. And I, I was so nervous. Yeah, and I was not. Because I was just like, hey, um, <laughs> friends, um, let's have a little conversation. I heard y'all hit y'all uh, last teacher in the face with a stapler. Baby, try Jesus, right. not Don't me. Don't try me. Because <laughs> baby, I ain't the one, two, or three. <laughs> Absolutely not. And then one of them was like, no, Miss Richardson, we ain't going to do you like that. And I'm like, I know you ain't going to. You ain't got to tell me. I know you ain't going to do me like that. So I know, like, before I mentioned my friend Lauren that didn't finish student teaching, right? Yeah. Um, That she, halfway through her student teaching, they were like, oh, a teacher just kind of quit. Congratulations, you're a teacher oh, now. Oh, yeah, I remember yes. that. So during that semester, that was her not even first year teaching, but first they just semester threw her teaching. In. Yeah. Yes. Um, she had the worst experience ever. Um, she, you know, was like taking her kids to specials and to recess. Mm -hmm. And she comes back and there's just a random man in her classroom. And she looks at them and she's like, um, hi, <laughs> what are you doing? He's like, oh, hey, like I'm here to spray for bugs. And she's <laughs> like, it's, hey, what? it's the middle of the day. Like. Should that not be scheduled for a different time? And he's like, ma'am, like, I just work here. I don't know. Like, I was just told to come at this time. And he's like, so you're just going to have to, like, stay out of here for about an hour. And she's like, my kids are going to be done 
with recess or specials wherever they were in 30 minutes. And he what just kind of like world? thinks about it for a second and he's like, yeah, 30 minutes should be fine. Sorry, she, them kids going to come back in here inhaling asbestos or whatever it is that you're about to spray up. <laughs> well, she goes to get them. And, you know, she, ha- she teaches third grade, mm-hmm. and she's in the middle of the line. Like, she's not in the front. She's in the middle to, like, watch the kids, and she starts sending them into the room. And all of a sudden, she hears blood-curdling screams, and she's like, what in the world are they getting into? She walks in, and there are swarms <gasps> of flying uh-uh. cockroaches. Mm-hmm. Flying cockroaches. Mm-hmm. Flying cockroaches. Mm-hmm. Apparently, there were nests in her ceiling. Oh, my gosh. In ew, her classroom. Ew. Uh-huh. And when ew. the guy sprayed, it agitated oh, the nest. I can't. <laughs> <laughs> I can't. <laughs> out. I- and Ugh. they were just swarming the classroom. She pulls all the like she had to swat some off of kids' shoulders. Uh-uh, oh my gosh! No. Kids would've that would have been, been, been my last day. day. That would have been my last day. Goes and finds a random other classroom. Now this is an old school. Like mm-hmm. it's going to be knocked down and rebuilt soon. So the other classroom she found had a flooding problem. Um, but she tells the principal. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Hey, yeah. your face. Like what type of? Yes. Yeah. It's a very old school building, but she has great admin, so she doesn't want to leave. But she well, told she her. she got great admin. <laughs> hey, come here. Let me talk to you, big dog. Well, she... Why y'all let this man come here spray for these cockroaches while these kids was in here? <laughs> well, she told her principal, she's like, we're not going back in there. Like, that's not happening. He goes, I can't be that bad. He leaves, comes back 10 minutes later. He goes, yeah, so y'all are going to stay in this class. Okay. Right? <laughs> I'm going to tell you right now. I'm going to tell you right now. Okay. One thing about Honest Teach Vibes. I don't like bugs, okay? I will take off running. Yeah, I'm, I will be a runner and a track star. Right. Because be- if it, especially if it's a flying roach, oh, <laughs> baby, I will run out into traffic and almost get hit trying to get away from a flying roach. No, absolutely not. Oh, uh, that's just horrible. I would be horrible. traumatized. Like, why would they not know that she had... Ne- yeah. a nest. Ugh, like why would they do that during school and t- na- today like this year she's still out of that room the it now has a wasp problem oh my god <laughs> now wasps i can't like i would have been like no i saw this story on the news one time of this lady that walked past these bushes and the wasps thought she was trying to like oh, attack no. their high or the Mm-mm. bees thought right, she was right, trying right. to and they all like the beehive like swarmed her and i'm like I am deathly afraid of bugs. No. Like, everybody knows that. My sister knows that. We were at Disney, because um, I took my sister to Disney um, this past weekend. We had an amazing time. Good. But at Disney, I mean, it's packed like sardines in there, and there's literally nowhere to sit. And so, you you know, you kind of sit, like, they have, like, um, the brick wall and then, like, flowers and stuff like that. And, like, we would sit, and I'd be like, hey, yo, it's, like, really big bumblebees behind us. And, like, bees and my sister would be like, they're fine. If you don't bother them, they're they not going to bother you. you. And I'm like, okay, but that's fine. I'm going to stand up because I'm not finna – I'm not, I can't, I just cannot. I would be, tra- I'm traumatized by this story of flying <laughs> roaches. Speaking of traumatized, okay, so the crazy thing that happened to me when I was teaching my very first year, it was also my teacher Bessie's first year as well. Okay. So we were going in together and she had this rule where like kids couldn't go to the bathroom more mm-hmm. than three times, I think a semester. Oops. Hold on. Three times a semester. Three times a semester. If you're listening on on Apple and you're not watching on YouTube, I took a sip of my drink and I almost choked on it. (laughs) Three times a yeah. And so it was this one time. It was this kid she had in her class, and he asked to go to the bathroom, but he was out of passes, so he couldn't go to the bathroom, and he actually had a seizure. (gasps) And so ever since then, she like got rid of the no bathroom rule. She did it just to kind of keep them in class because you know the kids were yeah, yeah, that'd be wrong. Yeah. Yeah. Oh and after my. that, I said I would never no. do the no, no bathroom. Yeah, I kind of gave oh. up on the no bathroom rule. But he, because... when he woke up, he was like laughing about it. And it oh was my just, gosh, oh, sorry. This, you this know, ain't funny. <laughs> <laughs> this is not funny. Right. Yeah, I kind of gave up on like the bathroom thing because one, like we know as teachers, like sometimes kids are like asking to go to the bathroom. Like I've even had parents message me and be like, my kid does not need to go to the bathroom that many times. She's just trying to go see her little friends. But there are so many things that could go wrong when right. you tell a kid they can't go right. to the bathroom. Exactly. That at this point, I'm like, you know just what? Go. Just go. If you're going to roam the halls and miss instructional time, that's right. on you. That's like, and problem. someone Here's eventually send them back. So Yeah, like somebody going to somebody gonna send them back. But them kids, when they leave to go to the bathroom, I'm going on an adventure. <laughs> like they, it's just it's like roam. field trip time. Right. They just roam the school. Speaking of adventures. <laughs> uh, 
someone sent me a story of a girl Mm -hmm. who in eighth grade, in middle school, about to go to high school, just randomly stood on her desk, pulled down her pants, yelling obscenities to the class, kicked off her shoes and just ran into the hallway on her own little adventure around the school. Admin had to chase after her for like oh, an hour. Baby, oh somebody gosh. gave her some trolls <laughs> before, uh, before school started. Like, what the heck? She must have took some of her parents' edibles that she thought was gummy bears and they was not gummy I just bears. I don't understand, but that's admin's problem. Okay. I don't get paid but enough. But literally, right. don't y'all feel like some of the stuff that we say, like people do not believe they us. Don't believe they it. do they not us. believe us. It's crazy. And then, like, they're like, no way that happened. And I'm like, <laughs> okay. But every Teachers teacher know. is every, like, no, yep, that totally yep, happened. 100%. Because the things that they do just don't make sense sometimes. I'm like, like, why would you, somebody said they were dissecting uh, a shark and like during like a, a anatomy class and the one of their this was a freaking high school senior licked the shark sir Ew, <laughs> sir no! but for why though ah! but for why though <laughs> like why what so you need some water now right. that's what i thought Ew. i would have been like no drink your spit because why would you lick that shark like that why is so gross <laughs> One time I was like when I was in high school, Mm -hmm. I did cheerleading and we had white uniforms because like our colors were green and white. Mm -hmm. And our teacher wanted to dissect something. It was some kind of sea animal. I don't remember what it was, but I just remember saying like, I can't do this because I'm in my white uniform. Mm -hmm. And she's like, well, you should have thought about that before you wore it. I was like, I don't have a choice. Right. Because we we have to wear our uniform. We have to wear it. I was like, you know, if you, why don't you have some kind of like smock or something? Like if you think something's going to get on our clothes, maybe you should have some kind of smock. And she's like, no, like she literally gave me an F for that. Oh my God. Did you tell your cheerleading coach? Oh yeah. My cheerleading coach was also a science teacher and she like ripped her a new one. Okay. Because that's not fair. Like on game days, like athletes and cheerleaders wear their. Yes. Like why? Because like we normally had like, I don't don't know what a smock is. I'm not going to lie to you. What is a smock? (laughs) Think think about like what what an artist would use to put over their clothes. Oh, okay. okay. So like Like, Abram. Okay. Yeah. yeah, Something like that. Just that if if something were. That sounds very fancy. When you're like dissecting (laughs) things, like I'm sure there's like fluids. (laughs) Did you get stuff on your uniform? I didn't do it. I refused to do it. I was like, I'm absolutely not doing that. Yeah. Because I can't. Because you know you would have gotten I think even when you. we dissected a frog we had like aprons yeah we, we had, had everything to dissect, yeah we had to die when we dissected stuff back over here hitting this mic <laughs> <laughs> people, i like like the camera people don't kill me don't kill me don't kill no me no way <laughs> but um my craziest one of the craziest things i've ever seen though as a teacher didn't happen during fir- my first year teaching but it happened when i was a teacher assistant because i was a ta the year before i like actually became uh, a teacher uh-huh. and i can't remember if i've told this story or not before but uh our principal did i tell the volleyball story before about our principal I don't having so. to go get a kid because she was like trying to fight the other kids in pe I don't okay think so. I don't okay think so, so because I'm like, people who've listened to the podcast are like, why they always do this? They can't remember what story they be telling. <laughs> y'all know. so many. Y'all know we got, I got teacher brain and I got mom brain, okay? It ain't no tired, like <laughs> teacher mom tired, okay? But our principal, like our, our gym, we had 1,500 kids, but we only had one gym. So the PE classes and whatever sport, in, like whatever sport, that that was their class period, they still had to use the gym. So the kids would sit in the bleachers while the athletes were, like, practicing or whatever because if it was too cold to go outside or whatever. So the volleyball team was practicing. And one of the teachers where they were practicing serving set his students, like, right behind where they were practicing serving. So naturally, volleyball, the balls (laughs) are going to go into the bleachers. So this one kid was getting so mad and I'm like, bro, just move to the top. Like if a ball and the ball, it's not like the balls was like hitting her hard. Like they weren't, I didn't see a single ball hit a kid hard. And so, but when they hit, like it would like tap the bleachers or something and kind of roll down. Right, Baby, this one girl, another ball hit her and she just knew they did it on purpose. (laughs) 
Child, the girl would not give the ball back. She was like, hold on to it. She, bro, she stood up and she was like, whichever one of y'all, and it's loud in the gym. It's like, it's six classes in there. But she was loud. She was like, whichever one of y'all just hit me with this ball from the beach out. You know, like she was like going crazy. And so I was a TA for PE, but I was pregnant with Peyton at the time. And people that's pregnant, you know, if we get a little too upset, you get out of breath really fast when you're pregnant. So I went over there to to like get the ball. I was like, hey, you're gonna have to give us the, give us the ball back. She was like, nah, I ain't giving da 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 da. And I was like, Bree, don't get your pressure up. Okay. Cause right. you know when you're pregnant, your hormones and it's easy for you to snap. And I was like, you know what? Just better have I it. called the head coach, the uh head uh girls basketball coach that I was the TA for, and she came over there, the girl wouldn't get her the ball. And so the situation like escalated. <laughs> She's really guarding the ball. She was really now. so the situation like escalated. The principal came in there to get her. <laughs> <laughs> When, I can't stop laughing because it's one of those things that you see as a teacher and you're just looking you like this, this is, is an absolute thing. train wreck this and so like all thing. she had to do was, was just hand the them the ball right. <laughs> and so the principal came in there and she starts going off on him and as soon as he walked up she was like get the F out of my face you can't tell me what to do she wouldn't give him the ball the kids behind her because they the blind leading the blind right. are like he can't touch you. He can't come up here and get it. He can't, he can't come up here and get it. You ain't got to give it to them. He can't. I'm like, man, shut up. Y'all don't even know what y'all talking about. So the girl finally gets mad. She's cussing him out. She comes down the bleachers and she's going to try to like fight one of the volleyball players. I'm like, bro, what is going on? And so the principal had to, because we're not trained in restraint you know, whatever. And so as admin, I guess they are allowed to restrain them. And so the girl was like running at one of the volleyball players. She was going to fight them. And the principal restrained her. And I'm talking about, I ain't never seen nobody just tussling like that. And I'm right. talking about y'all, no. they was tussling. She was probably was, waiting for that moment. Bro, I'm she was asking. waiting for that. <laughs> and she so prepared. the crazy thing is, it's all these kids in the gym. And everybody is like watching this go down. It's like six classes plus the volleyball team in the gym. <laughs> everybody is watching this go down. And I'm just sitting there looking like this. How did this situation like escalate like this? So quickly. he finally like gets her at the door. Y'all, after she refused to give the ball to two teachers cussing out the volleyball team to cussed out the principal told him shut the f up talking to her and he had to literally wrestle this girl out the gym he sent her back to class <laughs> oh my <laughs> girl God. i was no. like i am done i am done did they get the ball back <laughs> <laughs> i was like like y'all did you have a drinks and a snack I don't oh, know God. but I was just like that is the crazy I was absolutely livid when I found out he sent that child back to class <laughs> because what does that say to all other 150 exactly. them kids that was in the gym that they can just do whatever they that are literally child insane. I was deceased I'm talking about I literally have never seen like it was like they was tap dancing and tussling to get that girl out <laughs> Yeah, with them orthopedic shoes that on, child. So sad. I was not orthopedic. The orthopedic <laughs> shoes, baby. I was. And I guarantee you, there's some parent that emailed back, How dare you upset my child? Right. right. <laughs> I'm like, ma'am, like, why? First of all, I blame the coach because why the PE coach? Like, but he was also one of them coaches that I had, like, uh, a brawl fight that happened outside of my classroom. This wasn't my first year teaching. It was my second year teaching. But there was, like, this big brawl fight where the football players and uh, the track team uh, and I think some of the baseball players got into a huge fight. It was, like, 50 kids out there. Oh, wow. And so this was the same coach who I didn't know he was standing there while these kids was fighting. I didn't even see him. But the kids showed me the video, and he, he was, was just, just chilling. Right, <laughs> <laughs> oh, he was. Oh my gosh. Gosh. He was chilling, and I later found out that 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 teacher he did that all the time. Like, if he said he was only legally obligated to tell them to stop. I, I'm kind of the same way. I'm not I jumping in the fight. I ain't breaking up. Right. I ain't breaking up. I'm no going y'all. No, please stop that. But I can, yeah, I can, ima <laughs> oh, I can imagine stop. him standing there being like, because he, in the video, bro, he was so chill. That's why he was standing there like this. <laughs> he was, <laughs> I didn't even notice him. He was like, I bet he was like, hey guys, stop. Yeah. Y'all need to stop. Stop <laughs> fighting. So he was just My like, my work here is done. I was like, child. 
girl, what in the world? That was like so crazy to me. Well, I had someone send me another story about how there was a fight at school and, you know, she broke it up and she told the kid mm-hmm. that started it, like, you can't just go around hitting people. Right. And like, obviously. Things you think you wouldn't have to say. <laughs> hey, man, you can't, you can't hit, hit people. people no. okay? In high school, like, we're still learning hands to ourselves, children. But, you know, they wrote them up, called mom. Came to school the next day mm-hmm. with the kid bringing a note from his mother saying, I bet you lied about the whole thing. My baby would never. I hate when they hit say someone. that. I'm like, right. Right, come on, dude. She's like, and she's like, she emailed the mom. She's like, there is like footage on the school cameras that, you know, he did start the. Fu- did you doctor the footage? Girl, I think what? Some parents are delusional. They, I don't know if they're no, delusional they're so or if their delusional. kids just live double lives. I don't know. <laughs> Your kid is a double <laughs> agent. No it's like idea. Perry the Platypus from Phineas and Ferb. <laughs> <laughs> A don't act like y'all don't know. You know what? I don't like the way the cameraman looking at us like y'all don't. Both y'all got kids or you got kids. You so know? you know you the same Phineas <laughs> and Ferb. This is off topic, but you want to know something really funny? What? So my friend Kara in California is actually friends with Dan Pottermeyer, the guy who made Phineas and Ferb. What? Yeah. Really? And my friend Ben is too. And so, but Kara plays this prank on him. Where she like tells people that he also created the minions. Oh my gosh. And he didn't. <laughs> but she just like has people go up to him thanking him oh for gosh. the minions. <laughs> you filthy liar. <laughs> and it's so funny. He gets so confused. And he's That's like, crazy. I didn't make the minions. And she's like, but you did. That's but you crazy. Did. Hey, I, hey, I fool with minions. They're my little people. I love the minions. I fool with minions. <laughs> but do you have a. a, a you told your crazy teacher story. Yeah, the seizure dude. Oh, okay. I was half asleep. <laughs> I need to wake up. I looked at uh, I looked at you know some of the videos, and I'm like, my eyes be looking closed. Why y'all ain't edit? Makes my eyes look a little bit more open. But so uh, y'all know I do the teacher stories on uh, YouTube, yeah, yeah, yeah. and we've shared you know some funny stories. But this this particular story really made me upset. It's a little bit more oh, serious, no. but. This first year teacher, she had a principal similar to your principal that she just was like, he is like really out to get me. Right. And he told her like her first month teaching, like, you know, um, I feel like you, you know, he they put her on a uh, what's it called? Action plan or something like that. Yeah, yeah. Like, like a behavior plan or, plan or something. yeah, like something like like that, like an action plan or whatever. And he was like, if this doesn't improve by such and such time, she was a first year teacher. She was like, I was like oh. 22 years old. I was a first year teacher. I didn't have a mentor teacher. So she like actively sought out like other teachers to help her. And I'm right. like, that shows a lot of like, growth. you know, initiative and growth on her part. And maturity. And so the principal principal like she was just scared of him like he stressed her out like all the time y'all know how it is like when you have a principal that's kind of like on a power trip or whatever and you know we had um barry uh white on you know the last three or yeah i think the last yeah, yeah, three yeah. episodes and barry awesome. is like an example of like a really good admin you know barry he from is. Teach I love he's barry. So barry's sweet. a really I love good barry. a really good admin and so the admin that this girl has he, he was like not a great admin at all so she had he came in to observe her because since she was on that action plan he the head principal was the one that had to observe her so he came in to observe her and again she's a first year teacher he came in to observe her and during her observation a fight broke out in the boys bathroom now i think she taught sixth grade and it was a seventh grade class or it was it was a group of seventh grade boys and she was like i'm like five two and like 120 pounds right and she was like so instead of like you know going out there to break up the fight the principal was just sitting there like taking notes and like writing down stuff instead of going she said and she said that she did what she thought she was supposed to do. She kept her 30 kids in her class seated and calm so that they wouldn't exacerbate the situation. And when she got her review for her observation, he told her that she like didn't do good on her observation because she didn't go break up that fight. And and, Uh -uh. and she was like, she was like, well, I can't I can't leave my kids like I couldn't leave my kids like they're right and so I just that was like an impossible situation for her because I feel like if she would have left 
to go break up the fight, he would have been she, like, she would have still got in trouble. Yeah, exactly. exactly. And then if she she stayed, so now she in trouble. And people do not believe. The crazy thing is, people do not believe no, us. But every teacher that's listening to this, you <laughs> know, this exactly how it yep. went down. And I'm like, yep. sir, you are admin. You get up and go out there and break. That means exactly. that you didn't. Can we get an? Can we get an evaluation on For admin? You. <laughs> yeah. Because you failed your evaluation because you sat here and listened to them seventh graders fight. No. Like y'all, it I, was it was I, I felt so bad for her. I didn't get paid enough to get punched in the face. Right. And I think right. I was very lucky my first year. I had a principal, he was amazing. I as a first year teacher, I still had to go observe. I think it was maybe four times he gave me a mentor teacher since it was my first year. Yeah. And I had to go watch her, take notes and observe, and that was the best thing ever. Yeah. It's good to be able to have like a, a mentor good teacher support system. because yes. like what there's just so much stuff that like my grandmama used to call it a triple threat. You don't know what you that you don't know what you don't exactly. know. Right. You know what I'm saying? And so for a first year teacher, like you need you have to have a mentor teacher like you need exactly. somebody. And the fact that that teacher she sought out other she, teachers yeah, she had, to yeah. help her. But you know how busy like yes. everybody is and how overwhelmed everybody is. It was probably the type of information they were giving her was probably like drive by information because yeah. they didn't have right. time, you know, to sit down and take hours, Absolutely. you know, to coach her. But I felt so bad for her, y'all. Yeah, like, and then she said that when she turned in her resignation because a kid put hand sanitizer in her drink. What? Oh, yes. No. So she had that situation happen, and then a kid after that situation, he failed her on her observation or whatever because she didn't go break up that fight. A kid, a girl put hand sanitizer in her drink, no. and wow. she told admin like, "Hey, this kid put hand sanitizer in my in my drink because she thought it was funny and as a prank." And admin told her she shouldn't have had a drink in her classroom anyway. What? Are you serious? I could I not do- believe that. I was like, and I, and so sometimes like people send me stories and I'm like, hey, yo, like, let's, can we have some dialogue about this? Cause I'm like, this is like insane. Y'all, Crazy. I literally, I cried when I read her story. Cause I was like, that is not right. And then the principal, it, she, when she put in her resignation after that, cause she told him, I don't, I don't feel comfortable with this student being right. in my class because she put, she practically tried right, to, to poison me. Like, right. And he wouldn't take the student out. And so she, turned in her resignation and when she um when she she interviewed for like 15 different teaching positions across the county and like even outside the county and she couldn't get a job and she was like what is going on and the last person was like I you know he was like I was I'm hesitant to hire you because I talked to your previous principal and so people, when they That's called, crazy. when the admin from the school she was interviewing at called, her admin was like bad mouthing her and she could no. not get a job. She should have did it a was, grievance because I've had to do one of those. Yeah. On admin. Absolutely. What'd you have to do a grievance for, admin? Um, my principal was so horrible to me. This was when I was student teaching. I, um, I think I just did a story on my YouTube, actually. She hated me. So every little thing that she did, well, that, well, that I did, she would blame me for, like, if a kid... I didn't let this one kid be the line leader, right? Oh, gosh. So her parent... Oh, gosh. Her parent... Her parent, she her parent came and her parent was on the... Well, her the child's parent was on the school board. So it made it so much worse. And so after that, she just... I don't know. She just hated me. So um, it was like petty things that she would pick with me at. And mm. I was just... I was fed up. I was like, yeah. you know, I just... I couldn't do it. So I went to the county and um, they told me this type of grievance of everything that had happened and to bring it back and then they would have a meeting with her and after they had that meeting with her she was never rude to me again that's I good. ended up leaving a few months Thanks later the Lord that's God. great that they had your back like that that's because so sometimes important. they do they have a meeting and then the principal retaliates like even more but it, they knew it was the parent because they've always had issues with this one particular oh, parent okay. uh, yeah that and, makes sense well speaking of a uh, petty parents um, someone else sent me a story of a parent who came to her upset because her child had mosquito bites. And she said, oh, <laughs> right, yes. Tripping, like, um, right. She's like, these, these, I know these are mosquito bites. And she's like, yeah, they, they do look like mosquito bites. She, well, I know he got them at school because he doesn't go outside when he's at home. Wow. And she's like, okay, what? <laughs> <laughs> like, Sorry. And the parent wanted to know what the teacher was going to do to make sure that he never got another mosquito bite while at school. And she's like, well, they do go outside for recess. And she's like, well, that might have to change because he cannot, con- this can't continue to happen. 
What does she want him to do? Like sit in the class while everybody's playing? She wants everyone to stay inside. Girl, bye, Girl, Felicia. What? <laughs> Like, like make no. haste out of my face. Like, I don't understand some of these crazy demands that just don't make any sense. I'm telling it's you, crazy. after being a teacher and like hearing some of the stuff that parents like, because I do the ridiculous parent requests for board teachers. And after reading through those <laughs> ridiculous parent requests, I'm like, when Peyton goes to preschool in August, They're I'm like, Bree, you. don't you be one of them parents. <laughs> because I'm telling you, as a parent, like, I know how it is a, as a parent that if yo if your child come home and they got, because I know what my kid, like, ever in, I know if she get a new scratch if you know her toenail ain't like if she bump her toenail <laughs> like i know everything so i'm like if she comes home with a scratch i'm like where did that come from i was like did somebody scratch you who scratched you where'd you get that scratch from <laughs> so like i know as a parent like we have like we have to like put things into perspective but the mosquito thing i'm like as a parent, like if Peyton, because Peyton, she's allergic to a mosquito, but like she won't like no. break out in hives. Does but she get like the quarter sized welts? Yeah, that I get? so I Peyton I get is like yeah. allergic to mosquito bites. So we just like, if she gets a mosquito bite, we just put stuff on it. Her grandma is like really good with like homeopathic stuff. So she, right. so she put stuff on it. But I'm like, when Peyton comes home, if she's got like three mosquito <laughs> bites on her, I'm like, Bibi, where you get these mosquito bites from? And she's like, it's okay, Outside. mommy. Mama put some stuff on it. So, Aww. so I'm like, I understand the parent like being like, my baby has mosquito bites all over them. But ma'am, like, I would never you can't ask punish the whole class. <laughs> Please hey, don't can, go outside. Hey, can you guys not go outside? <laughs> or the parents that send their kids, their pre, their their preschoolers to school in like brand new tennis shoes, and, and get then they're mad. They get dirty. <laughs> I'm like, what? <laughs> like, ma'am, they they gonna get dirty. Like they're like a preschool look a step outside. Like as soon as they, they step out the door they're and they shoes dirty. get dirty. They're already like dirty. let them see a mud puddle and it's over with. <laughs> <laughs> like, you're done. <laughs> you're done. I cannot deal with some of them. But I mean, I can understand, but that's crazy. Like a, one teacher told me her kid got stung by or her a parent called her because she was mad that her kid got stung by a bee on the playground. <laughs> a parent was like <laughs> I'm sorry because when I heard it I was like you've got to be kidding me but the parent was like what like I can't like why didn't you make the bee sting another kid like why what? Did you <laughs> I, I was just like are y'all <laughs> like I'm telling y'all as a parent like I know it's like we lose reason sometimes because we're like we love our kids we, we love our kids so much that like we lose reason sometimes but I'm like you can't lose reason like that to say like That's why crazy. you didn't shoot the bee right. away so right. it stink another kid like come on ma'am like it's put some put some ointment on it and it's it's okay like it's, it's like gonna a, be okay it's a pretty normal childhood injury right, right. Like, like, really, like I don't right. know if I would call it an injury like but. I'm scared to death that's why I'm scared of wasps because my dad had like an old Cadillac that uh it was my dad used to just buy Cadillacs and they'd just be broke down. Like every time he bought a new one, I'm like, why you keep buying these Cadillacs and they always break down? But it was like the old school Cadillacs. It wasn't them new Cadillacs yeah. that, you know, look like the United States Senate be riding around in. Like, yeah, it looked like that. It was one of them old cat daddy uh, Cadillacs. And so the Cadillac had been sitting in the driveway for like the whole summer. And I went outside one day and I was just like, oh, I'm bored. So I opened the door and I was sitting inside the car and I got stung by a wasp. And I looked up and in the corner of the door was a wasp nest. Oh, my gosh. I ran <laughs> up out that car so fast. I'm scared. Y'all, I'm scared to death of wasps. This is a funny story that happened to me. And actually was my first year teaching. Oh, okay. So um, there was a... It was either a bee or a wasp, I couldn't remember, that got into my classroom. Oh, Lord. Were the kids um, in there? Yes. yes oh, the God. Kids they're there. purposely going to go <laughs> yes. crazy. And it was seniors, right? Oh, so, of course, gosh. they're, like, big screaming, like, running around the right. classroom. And I had, like, 30 of them. Oh, God. So, like, Mass I chaos. get a plastic cup, and I, like, get on the desks, and I try to trap it on the ceiling, right? And so I – it was on a light. And so I move the cup over to try and put it, like – put a piece of paper in it and trap it but then i moved it 
and it looked like there was it, it looked like it was in the light dead like on the glass side right and i go huh I don't know how that happened, but I guess that's taken care of. Move the cup. Oh, nope, it was a different. Oh, it was a different. Oh bug. my god! Oh, no. It was a different bug, and I was like, "Oh no!" And then I, it was like in my face, and I'm like trying to cup it again, like panicking. <laughs> Why your kids are like running? Right. Right. Yes. <laughs> right. Yes, that was fun. The things that we, the things that we have to do as teachers, but <laughs> hey, solidarity to the first year teachers. Y'all got it's this. It's gonna be okay. You're gonna make it. That first year gonna feel a little crazy, but. The so advice that we the advice that we always give is never judge your teaching career based off of your first year of teaching. Mm-hmm. You gotta have right. more. You gotta have more time. You gotta give so. yourself some grace and make sure you don't compare yourself to other teachers, like oh, veteran absolutely. teachers. Yes. Cause absolutely, there's no way you can no. compare yourself to other teachers. So all you can but, do is your best. Yeah, and that's that's really what it is. You do y'all best, but get the rest. <laughs> uh, and on that note, uh, we love you guys. Thank y'all for joining us for this podcast episode. Miss Greenwood will be on two more episodes, and yes, I'm, so, I'm excited so excited because and then we, we turn Lauren up. back. <laughs> and we miss Lauren. Like I'm, we really, I'm really sad I that Lauren is so in here. bad. Yeah, and she felt Lauren felt bad, but I'm like there's they're canceling yeah, so many flights. Yeah, there's only know. so much that you can do. Right. She can't control that. So, but we love y'all, best friends. We'll see y'all next time. Bye. Bye. Bye.